I've had a lot of people um, asking me to tie this, so here it is, it's my fiery brown, it's kind of a cross between a crippled midge and a big red, but this, rather than sitting in the surface, sits on it with this hackle sloping down like that, I'll just quickly go ahead and show you how to tie it, so the first thing you do is I, I get a hook in the vice, this is a size 12, the size I prefer to tie it on, and it's a, a barbless hook, partridge SLD2, um, just rock solid basically, and I've got a, a bright flow orange thread, so just come in, wind down to the body, creating a bed to tie on basically, right down at the end of the straightness of the hook, come back up here to this point, you probably where you'd be tying a thorax for nymphs, and then we've got this stuff, thanks to whoever was it sorted me out, there's a couple of boys sorted me out with this stuff, um, and I just come in and I take a length, like so, and I catch it in, pinch and loop, a couple of wraps, nice and solid like so, I then, I don't need to use a gallows tool, do not need it, I then come in and just wind my thread up to a point where I'm happy and then if I keep tension on it like so I can build a really nice post but then I secure the post and make it even stronger with the feather stem so there's the post there, a couple of turns either side spot on and now I've got this stuff this is a, a genetic grizzle I've got a feather here that suits the size of the hook and I'll just strip some of the the base away, I'm only using the tip of the feather but I give myself a little bit to work with on the stem you can see that there just catch that in it doesn't need to be fancy because you've got to take this up and you can see because I've already got that post in there I can use the stem of the feather as well to make it even stronger like so so I've got my post in and I've got my hackle in I now come down and I always use a bit of uh, wax but I'm using seals for because seals for this stuff's rough as badgers now this is my own mix of seals for there's four different colours in there uh, claret, orange, sunburst and red and I'm just going to dub this on people think these flies are complicated parachute flies they really aren't they? They're actually quite simple. Once you've started tying a few of them. So I'm looking for a little bit of taper. My thorax is always going to be thicker. Come up. Like so, right up to the post. And then up through. This, this thorax area is always going to be thicker. Like that, you see. Don't worry about this bit, so I'll get tidied up. And then come in with your thread and park it. So that when I tie this hackle in, I can secure it nice and tight. Come with a hackle, starting at the top. I want about four wraps on this fly. Three, four. Let's have another one, my luck. We just come in and just underneath, you can see that I'm working underneath the hackle four times. And that's it secure. Just come in with my snips, with my scissors. Now, this is the important bit, so I've got my hackle on, use your thumb and forefinger to spread the hackle away from the thorax like that, thread wrap, I've just cut a little bit of the hackle there, just take that out, so thread wrap, I'm just going to snip this, like so, your thread comes up, and through the thorax because you're just because the thread's so th threads so thin it just beds in you didn't see it and just behind the eye a couple of turns you've got a base to get your thread on and then with this post we come down at a steep angle like that not like a, a big red this is a really steep angle and what it does is it pushes the hackle down I'll show you in a second secure couple of wraps, one, two, three, you can see the steepness of that hackle there and the way that it's splayed and then all I'm doing now is 
I pull the, the tag end up and with my thread I cut the wraps just to kick it up so it kicks up at an angle again keeping that fly sitting on rather than in the water then with the whip finishing tool like so cut that off and I use a point the thickness of my scissors there are coming level with the eye and that cuts it at a 45 degree angle and that's basically the fly what I do next is I always come in and push everything down with a bit of velcro give the fly a little bit roughen up and there it is that fly for the last few months on the reservoirs since we've um, it's been open it's been absolutely devastating for me especially in a size 12 I've tried it in a size 10 it just seems a little bit too big 12 and 14 seems to be the size for that so there it is my fiery brown dry fly it's uh, it's a real cracker and one you should have in your box try it I'm sure you'll have great success when you use it